there's a lot of people that think Atlantis doesn't exist. What nonsense. There it is on screen. In this video game titled Atlantis. You can't just make this stuff up. Look at it. There's like a thing under a glass bubble underwater and cannons and stuff. Atlantis. Under attack by the Gorgons. Your job is to defend Atlantis using your three cannons. One on the left, one on the right, and one in the middle. Which, at this moment, is blown up, but it will be rebuilt if I survive the wave. It kind of sounds like Missile Command, but it's not because you don't have precise control over a cursor on screen directing where your missiles go. You're firing cannons that are stationary. They don't move, they don't lock onto targets, they just fire in whatever direction they're pointing. But that doesn't stop the game from being fun, because it's a very fun game, from Imagic. And like many games from Imagic, the shots that are fired are very, very small and difficult to see. Tiny, in fact, like the ones in No Escape. You couldn't even see them after all of the encoding to get the videos online. These reviews go through numerous rounds of space-age computer technology encoding before they ever reach your eyeballs. Sometimes the little tiny shots in Atari games can get lost. Nobody knows where they go. Maybe they're in a bucket somewhere. A bucket filled with Atari projectiles. It would probably look like a bucket of salt. Which, which brings up so many conspiracy theories I'm not even going to begin. Anyway, like many Atari 2600 games, it starts off fairly easy where you get a few rounds that you can practice on, and then gets much, much harder. After you lose, the remainder of your citizens fly away in a spaceship, and then you see them again when you play the video game Cosmic Arc. I'm not even making that up. This is the prequel to Cosmic Arc, also from Imagic for Atari 2600. Very different games. I actually prefer Cosmic Arc. I don't think they have much to do with each other. It seems like a very creative way to tie the two of them together, which I applaud. I like creativity in Atari 2600 instruction manuals. So just know that even if you lose, which you're going to do every single game, that you still win because then you can play Cosmic Arc and lose that game. Some of these games have more static in the background than others. Even with cleaning, you know, 30-year-old electronics will still be a bit problematic from time to time. So Atlantis is relatively easy to find, actually. It's uh, not that expensive. It's a 1982 release. There's a couple different cartridge label variations, if you care about that kind of stuff. And this is a relatively fun game. It's not one of their best, but I like the style. I like, I like the whole Atlantis thing. And I like the thing that's under the bubble and the bridge connecting the two green blocks filled with blue. Why would you need a bridge underwater? You could just swim at that point. If you like Missile Command, you might want to check this one out, but I think that the whole appeal with Atlantis is just that the game is called Atlantis and has a catchy style to it. It's a clever game. I like that they tied it into Cosmic Arc as well. I wish they had done that with more games because the stories in the instruction manuals rarely had anything to do with what you actually witnessed on screen. They just, they could have done anything. Like, Pole Position could have been the prequel to Centipede. You fire by pushing the button on the Atari controller, holding the joystick left fires the left cannon, pushing right fires the right cannon. It's a tricky game because sometimes in order to hit the enemies on the right you have to use the left cannon, so it's like thinking backwards occasionally. I found that just machine gunning enemies out of the sky seemed to work the best. It's a tough game because it speeds up quickly. Breaking a big score is challenging. Atlantis. It's a good time. Try to save them, but don't try too hard because you want to see the citizens of Atlantis again in Cosmic Arc. <laughs> Oh!